Welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are having a great day. Today we're at Park Hills for the Lead Belt National Enduro. And as you guys can see here, I'm on road 29. We just started test six here. This is the last test of the day. Sharp left, rocky turn into the waterfalls. Boy, those things were slick with moss and rained in the morning, so they were all slick and man, you had to be careful on them. Alright, now we can get on the gas. Figured you guys would like that third person little shot there for you guys. Uh, that was from my buddy Nathan. Him and his son watched my video, so shout out to them. GoPro doesn't do this justice here. Some big old boulders there. And as you guys will see here, this, this section gets pretty technical, kind of like that one. But if you guys are hearing that rattling, it's actually just my uh, clutch lever rattling against my bark buster. So I didn't figure that out until the day was over, but nothing to worry about. Most of this stuff was pretty creepy crawly, so the stuff that was open, I tried to just hammer through it. Some of you guys probably know, um, I don't have the best history at this place. Uh, three years ago, I think it was, I got lost and ruined like my whole day. And then two years ago, I had a really bad crash and ended up waking up in the hospital. So this was a good, good change. I made it to test six here. Another one of those rocky sections, just a big old rock garden trying to make it through without without falling over or stalling the bike or anything but made it through and then this turn here was pretty slick it through this little open piece here. There's some clay in that dirt too, so had to be careful with the rain that we had in the morning and got a little slick. You guys can probably see some of it shined off. Oh, 
Ooh, little hotline there. Big uphill. Into some sketchy rocks. Got a little wobbly there. Pretty cool little shelf rock there, and this section had a little bit of everything. It was pretty cool. It had some of them big boulders that I showed you guys earlier. It had that shelf rock, and then there's a couple more things that I'll show you here. There to the left is a big kind of trench thing, so I was like, don't go to the left, don't veer to the left. It would be bad news. And here we have this gnarly off camber section with some, some big old rocks in it. Don't misplace the front tire. It'll be off in the fence. So the raw video that I'm going to post is going to be test one and you guys will see the dif difference from this to that. Test one was way faster and way more wide open than this. It was cool that they threw some challenges at us for test six. It really, really tested us and really made it fun, I thought. This test was probably my favorite one of the whole day. Another rocky little ditch crossing there. Starting this test, I knew I was close to that top 10 overall, so I knew I just had to push it to try to stay in there and try to get in that top 10. But I didn't want to—I didn't want to get too sketchy in this stuff because I knew if I fell over, that would just ruin my chances. So I'm trying to be cautious here, but still, just give her all I got. rock to sand in just a matter of one corner. How crazy is that? There's an old mine or something there. I wondered what that was. Some kind of building.
jump the railroad tracks. You can hear in this dust the revs of my motor just going up all of a sudden. That's from that clay, my back tire was just slipping. Nice little faster section there, flowy. Slow down, UTV, don't hit me. Oh man, this was scary. Coming over the top of the hill and just seeing all them boulders. Oh gosh, too late to slow down, but just had to go for it. Coming into the end here, I uh, ended the day second in double A. You! <laughs> and then 11th overall for the day. And yeah, pretty solid day, pretty fun. This place went from being one of my least favorite places to being one of my favorites. So, pretty sweet day. Thank you guys for watching this video and be sure to stay tuned for the raw video to come out. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.